This is the Marvel Legends series Spider-Man retro carded version figures of Ben Riley as the new Spider-Man, at least way back in 2021. I believe this was Ben Riley before he became a chasm. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, it took me a while to actually just pull the trigger and pick up this figure because I'm not necessarily the biggest Ben Riley fan. And uh, yeah, everyone was just raving about this new figure. Out here in Manila, collectors were gobbling up this figure left and right. Very difficult to find one at your local, at our local Toys R Us or Toy Kingdom stores. I was lucky enough to find a couple of them uh, sitting on the shelves uh, at some Toy Kingdom and Toys R Us stores, but I still didn't pick it up. Uh, out here in Manila, this thing is going for about 29 bucks, and on the secondary market, it's going for about 32 to 35 dollars. But uh, on my recent trip to Minnesota, I went to a Target. Uh, along cottage, I think at Cottage Grove, and I spotted a couple of these guys, and they were going for about twenty five bucks plus tax, so that's about twenty seven dollars. Uh, decided what the heck, right? Let's see what the hype was all about on this figure. Decided to pick one up. Hopefully, this figure does not disappoint. Let's get this bad boy out of packaging. And here is Ben Riley Spider Man out of the packaging. And you know, this figure is actually not too bad. It's actually pretty good. I mean, the mold to begin with is actually pretty impressive. And this new paint deco just really made this new figure pop. Oh man, I am excited about this figure. Let's take a close look at the details of this new Ben Riley as Spider Man. The figure stands at about 16 and a quarter centimeters tall or about six and six and three eighths inches tall. If you didn't already know, this figure is a redeco, repaint of the Renew Your Vows two pack Spider Man, which is still the best Spider Man figure in the Marvel Legends line for me. And this is probably the only one I've kept out of all the other Spider-Man figures I've reviewed. I just really love this figure. And to be redecoed in another version of Spider-Man, this one actually works. Oh, man. The big difference being that head sculpt. The new Ben Riley head sculpt is, wow, it is like alien big. It is a much bigger head sculpt and... Yeah, it kind of works. It's giving me that Todd McFarlane vibe. There's a close-up look at that head sculpt. Oh, yeah. Uh, it works for me. Uh, for some people, it might be too big. Makes him look like an alien. But, uh, yeah, it works for me. The thing that really sells uh, this new Spider-Man, apart from that head sculpt, is this beautiful paint application of the webbing. And that's also the other thing you need to be wary about when you're picking through the shelves. I mean, if you can pick through the shelves, there's several on the pegs, uh, you, you need to look out for how the web has been painted on the head sculpt and on the body and make sure there are no blemishes. Everything's evenly painted. This one I got lucky. Uh, I had a couple to pick out sift through uh, on the pegs and uh, this was the best one so yeah that's essentially it uh, as far as mold degradation goes the figure doesn't seem to exhibit any looseness of the joints most of the joints are still pretty tight just like the renew your vow spider-man so not bad not bad at all i think hasbro did a wonderful job on this free deco of ben riley as spider-man so the figure does come with extra hands. He came, he came packaged with the fists and then the open splayed wall crawling hand as well as a twip hand came in extra. It's a shame that's the only thing that came with this figure. Would have been nice if there were an alternate head. Uh, there was like a web, uh, uh, a web line. That would have been nice, but uh, you know, Hasbro, they want to keep it nice and simple. Some final thoughts on this new Marvel Legends retro carded Ben Riley Spider-Man. Um, figure's actually pretty solid. Is it an absolute must-have necessary purchase? Probably not. I mean, if you have already too many Spider-Man figures in your Marvel Legends collection, this might be just not the figure you're looking for. But if you're a big Spider-Man fan and you love the Marvel Legends line, and you just read up on all the comic books and all that, and you love Ben Riley, then this is an absolute must-have. I think it's one of the best Ben Riley figures from the Marvel Legends line. Uh, it's just a shame that we didn't get a lot from this figure. Could have had a head sculpt, a 
the web line, maybe some more hands. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, it's not a bad figure. It's actually very well executed. I love the new paint apps. That new big head sculpt is not really bugging me as much. Um, I actually like it. I actually prefer it. So, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good figure. As a figure alone, I think it deserves a 10 out of 10. But as an overall uh, packaged figure, I think it deserves uh, some more accessories. So the final rating should be a 9.5 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think of this Marvel Legends series and Spider-Man uh, retro cartridge collection of Ben Riley as the new spider-man hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews and if it's your first time here please subscribe thanks for watching